One AI video trend I'm loving right now are character references. This is when you take an image of a character and write a prompt which will then feature that face in the video, and sometimes with mixed results. I'm gonna show you how to do character reference videos in Hilo, Luma Dream Machine, Pixverse, and Pika. I'll use the same prompts in each of those and compare the results. And if you're only here to know which one is the best, for me, it's a toss up between Hilo and Pika, uh, but let me know what you think. All right, let's start with Hilo, and there is a link in the description to all of these. We'll need to move over to the subject reference tab that's up at the top here, um, and then click add reference character. If you've done previous characters, you'll see them there. Otherwise, just click upload characters, and you can do this all with one image. Um, this is a character that I generated for a different consistent character video. And then we're gonna paste our first prompt in there. So this is about a space mechanic. And if you'll notice, this is 45 credits. If you just do regular text to video, it's 30 with Hilo. So you are paying more to do character reference. We've got our face in there, we've got our prompt. Let's generate it. I'll show all of these side by side at the end. All right, now let's move on to Luma Dream Machine. They started using these boards, which I'm not totally a fan of yet. Let's start one. What I'm gonna do here is just paste the prompt first, and then I'm gonna go over to this gear icon and choose reference from the side there. And that'll pop up a little area where I can add the face image. I've got my face there and I've got the prompt. Now here's where Luma is a little bit different. It's gonna generate the images first. So it's not doing text to video with that image. It's gonna give you some images first. So on the plus side, you get to choose from different options before you commit to one. And then when you find one that you like, there's a button over here that does the start frame. You'll enter your prompt and then we're gonna generate it. On Pixverse, it's very simple. We're gonna click character, create, upload our image, give it a name, and then just click create character. And you'll see it says create asset successful. Then we'll paste our prompt in there. I notice sometimes when you, after you create the character, you might not see the character in the list and you just have to refresh the page and then you'll see that character show up in the list. All right, and then you hit generate. It is the same number of credits. And Pixverse is based on Stable Diffusion. So if you know that Stable Diffusion video style, it probably looks familiar. The last one we're gonna do is Pika and they have Pika ingredients. So we're gonna click the ingredients tab, click this button for the reference. We're gonna add our prompt and then we're gonna generate it. I don't like the outfit, I don't like space, but the face is pretty good. For the space ones, I like Hilo and Pixverse the most. All right, now let's use that same face and try a different prompt. I'm gonna do this Roman Gladiator one. I like the motion on this one a lot and the face is pretty good. I don't like this at all. <laughs> okay, this one's interesting. So watch the little head thing that shows up and remember that head thing because it's gonna come up later too. And that's Pika. I like the Pika one. For the gladiators, I like Hilo and Pika the most. All right, and let's do another face just to see how the bodies on these people change based on the faces that they get. So um, let's have this old guy who kind of looks like an older Pedro Pascal, maybe. Here's him as the gladiator and Hilo. And then watch this, this is Pixverse. This, it does the same thing with the hair as the other one. And this is Pika. So Pika and Hilo are my favorites in this one. That shield's a little funny, but still. Um, and then what I wanna do is just add, see if I can add um, two faces to the mix, right? So um, in Pika, you can do multiple ingredients, so you can do multiple faces. So let's see if we can do both of those faces in the Gladiator shot. So I'm gonna add the second face and kind of update the prompt so it knows that there's two of them there. And let's generate that. Not bad. I'm sure with a better prompt, you could make that an interesting scene, but you can put two different characters in one scene, which is very cool. And then if you've seen another video that I've done on Runway, being able to lip sync two different people, you could actually generate videos of two different characters and then bring them over to Runway and lip sync them. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. I bet there's a link in the description. Um, also in Pixverse, they have two different motion options. So there's this normal motion, and then there's also one that is called performance. So let's just do that gladiator one in performance mode and see how it turns out. And you'll see it looks much better. It still has that little, um, I have to look up what that's called, that mohawk thing. 
So it still has that, but the video quality, if you can see, is much better when you're doing performance. So here's some other ones. Here's some arcane sorcerers in high low. Here they are in Luma. Not great in Luma. In Pixiverse. And then here in Pika, which there's a lot going on, but I, I do think there's some interesting effects here. And it does look like a fight when you have both of them together. All right, here's a Western. This is Hilo. This is a great shot. I mean, the bullets look a little bit funny, but like, this is exactly the prompt for the most part. And if you're finding fault with that, wait until you see this one. It doesn't really look like the character. All she does is turn her head. She's not walking, not a fan. And then you look, he just turns the other way. Here's Pix first in the Western one, walking. I like it. Also walking, there's horses in the background. The hat's a little bit funny, but it looks like the characters. Um, this is the only one that Pika really messed up on. This is the one, and I had to double check. This definitely uses the face reference for the woman, but um, it is not clearly her. Um, and then this is the guy, so I'm not sure why you barely see his face. All right, and then I did this sort of like Regency ones where they're sort of um, a different kind of time set, different period. Um, Luma, again, I don't, I don't know. And then here's Pixverse. It doesn't really look of that period, but um, it just looks more like, this one looks a little bit better, I think, of that period, but it could just be like someone in a museum. And then for Pika, I actually had to blur this out because I generated nudity. Um, I don't want this video taken down, so, but in terms of like the atmosphere and everything like that. I think this is a great shot. Um, this is also good. Love this camera movement. The closer it gets to him, the more he looks like the character. Um, if you'll notice that um, from there, not as much maybe, but he starts to turn into the character as we get closer to him. And a lot of great lighting on his face. All right, so here are some side-by-side -side comparisons of these videos that we've looked at. In general, I think this is a great way to add consistent characters to things that you're doing. Um, I think that Hilo and Pika are the way to go on this. I've been doing videos about consistent characters for almost two years, and I'm just impressed with how much it keeps improving over time. And in two years from now, you're gonna be able to do whatever you want. All right, thanks for watching, and if you like this kind of thing, please subscribe. I'm definitely subscribing after this. I'm going to watch his other videos. Especially that ostrich one. It needs more views.